angel is coming home. My 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 angel is coming home. <laughs> Sweetie, can you stop? You're making me shy already. <laughs> According to Mama's words, I am not stopping because she is not far from the truth. My angel is right here with me. My angel, my one and only, is coming home. Her would-be daughter-in-law is finally making it home. <laughs> I'm sure your mother's voice will not sound like this. I mean, she will have the best voice in this whole world. Well, of course, I tried. <laughs> I tried my best. Mama would say, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. And I quote, listen to me, Ugo Chuku. Not just listen, she said I should hold my ears wide open and listen. <laughs> happy is the man who finds a true friend, but happier is that man who finds a true friend in a wife. Aww. She said, make sure Ugo Chuku, Ugo Chuku, make sure, hold your ears. Mama said, I am holding my. She said, No, 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 no. Hold your ears wide Very open. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Do not come back here again without a wife. Ha. Do not come back here without my daughter in law. That angel with a golden voice. I kept on asking, what did you put in your voice that day you spoke with Mama? <laughs> because it's unusual. <laughs> Since Mama heard your voice, Mama has been asked, Mama has been saying, bring her home. Don't come back here without, without, her, without your uh, wife. That's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> that her voice sounds like Onye Kowin, the way she spoke to me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Hey. That she's going to flog me 12 strokes of cane. If I don't come back with you. <laughs> well, okay. And then I said to myself, this woman, you don't need to say more because this girl right here is, are you sure they are not the one coming? It's Mama. Mama is trying to go in first. <laughs> I said this. We are on our way, Mama. <laughs> so, Woo! Hope I, look good. Of course, you look good. I look good. She's going to dance for She has one of her signature dance that she was like, <laughs> so so happy. So so happy. Baby, Mama loves you. I love her too. I can't wait to meet her. Of course, my love. Of course. I'm nervous. I mean, I mean, I have this mixed feeling. Like, is she going to like, like, in real life? She, did, she likes me already. Like, if she sees me, she's going to like Mama me, she said to... she prayed. She fasted. And God Almighty revealed to her that you and my wife. So that is no way, it's a spiritual thing. There's no way Mama will see you now. And, uh, so don't worry about that. Oh, well, just be ready to dance. <laughs> because I know she want to dance with you. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what you put in your voice. That day. You know, after speaking with her, she called me again. I said, are you close? I said, no, you've left. I said, how can? Give her phone. I want to hear her voice again. Uh -uh. I said, Mama, she just left. It's okay, please. Well, okay, what did you put in your steel? What did you add in your steel? <laughs> what did you add in your steel? She'll be so happy, so happy to see I you. I can't wait. We're almost, we're like a few minutes away from you. Really? really? Yeah. Whew. Well, I okay, what did you add in your steel? <laughs> Ugo Chuku, hold your ears. Yes. I said, Mama, I'm holding it. He said, he said, no, you're not holding it. You think I can't see you from here? Hold, Hold your it very ear. well. I said, Mama, I'm holding it. <laughs> Make sure you don't come back to the village without, without my daughter-in-law. Without <laughs> my daughter-in-law. <laughs> yeah, Mama, okay, no problem, so I will. Uh, okay, this is where we turn. And uh, we are close by. <sighs> My angel is coming back home. Finally.
Saying this, of course I did. Okay, so then, where is she? Get me a
This is really strange. How can someone I drove into this compound with disappear into thin air without no traces? I'm even calling her lines and switched off. Shut your mouth. Mama. I said shut up. Go to listen. Whichever game you are up with, you will not succeed. Not when I, Elizabeth, your mother, is still alive. Mama, I am telling you the truth. I drove into this compound with her. I told her to sit right there while I greet you. I'm telling you the truth. Shut your mouth, I said. Shut up. name has come over my son. What has come over our children of this day? Ugochuku, are you going to lie to every other person out there and still lie to me, your mother, who carried you for nine months in our womb? Mama, I am telling you the truth. Shut I... up! How could you be this insensitive to the feeling of a mother? Ugochuku, how could you be this insensitive to the feeling of a mother? Who wants the best for her only surviving son? Who could you put the wrong choice of a woman your twin brother made claimed his life? The only brother you ever had. The same woman issue led to your father's death. That same wrong choice of a woman kept me in this condition till now. And now you want to allow that which the Lord has brought to your doorstep on a platter of gold to slip away because of your insensitivity to the most sensitive things that matters in life. Have I ever lied to you before? Mama, I am telling you the gospel truth. I drove into this compound with her. I cannot lie to you. Then where is she? I don't know, Mama. I don't know. I, I don't know. Where is the young lady? Did she suddenly develop wings and fly away to the wings? Or probably turn into a ghost that appears and disappears at will? Just so I resound this to your ears. It took me six years. Six. Good years of consistent fasting and prayers to the Almighty to bring forth my son's life partner since your brother and my husband passed away. And now he has answered us and you wanted to sleep away because of your dirty games, Gochuku. What do you want me dead? Do you want me to be in my grave early? Hi! Mama! 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 That is Brody Luca. Brody K's best friend. 
I believe you know him very well. He was staying with him in the city before his death. Although he was not around the very day it happened. Brother Ike was the one who took care of his bills. He was his backbone. Hearing the news of his death left Eloka broken. And for six years now, he has taken it a responsibility to make sure no weed grows around his grave. He mourns his friend with a broken heart every day that passes by. But a case death is such a tragedy that cannot be wiped off the sense of time. Mama never liked that woman he chose for a wife. Her spirit never accepted her. Although we saw her only once when we visited the city. <sighs> Mama saw it in a vision that Bodaike would die by her hands even before the marriage if they should continue with the relationship. And to crown it all, we heard from a very reliable source of how she flirts around with different men. In Mama's words, this is not my son's wife. We tried. We did everything we could to end their relationship. But all our efforts seemed futile. But Ike was stubborn to the bones. The day he died, Mama dreamt of it. How he was poisoned. We tried calling him, but he wasn't taking his calls. The following morning, we rushed the city, only to find Brother Ike lying dead on his bed. It was later confirmed by the autopsy department that he was poisoned. That woman killed my brother. That wayward woman killed my brother for her own selfish purposes. Maybe to run away with his wealth. She killed him and disappeared. She was on the run for weeks. It was during the process of chasing after her when she surfaced that Mama fell down and got her bones dislocated. The news of Mama being hospitalized in the city and Brother Ike's death led to Papa's death too. He fainted and was rushed to the village clinic but could not make it. The evil woman who is behind all this is still on the run till date. You were out of the country when all this happened. And I know when you returned a few months ago 
in search for a wife down here. Hearing this story definitely sounded like a fairy tale to you. But it's real. I know that if you had been around, you would have made it a priority to bring down whoever it was that brought this pain on us. I know what you can do. Brother Ogo, I plead with you. Whatever it is Mama is doing now, she is doing for your own good. Our good. Mama wasn't lying when she said she fasted and prayed ceaselessly for you this past six years. Just so you don't make the same mistake Brother Ikejuku made. The same thing she does for everybody in this village that comes to her for counseling and prayers. Her words do come to pass. Whatever she says happens exactly how she said it. It's true we haven't seen this your choice of woman. But when Mama said she prayed about it as soon as she heard her voice over the phone and it was revealed to her that she is the right woman for you then you should mark it a full stop do not waste time any further else you will lose her I promise to do whatever it is within my powers to ensure you bring home the right woman but I want you to make me a promise that you will be with me on this. A promise. It is a spiritual partnership. A communion of the body, mind and soul. Look around the world today. You will see lots of broken homes here and there. Lots of failed marriages. Reason not far-fetched. However, I will tell you why. A lot are married to the wrong woman or to the wrong man. One whom they are not destined to be with. Simply because they refuse to pay attention to that which matters most before marriage. <sighs> Unseasoned prayers. Yes. Prayers. Pray that God gives you that one whom you are destined to be with. That is the only way you can enjoy your marriage. That is the only way you can pull through the storm when the trials come and still be together. Moving on happily. Because your souls have been sealed in the spiritual realm as one. My dears, the choice of a life partner is worth fighting for. Yes, it is. Good woman. I do all I do today because I love you and I do not want you to end up like your twin brother Ikechu. And this is not a case of the parents forcing their son to get married to whom 
he has not found love with. You found her. She found you. You both found each other in the physical. And I, your mother, prayed and connected you both in the spiritual realm. And God revealed to me that that woman whom I have heard her voice over the phone, that one whom you have professed love to, is your wife. Go Bring that one home for me to bless your union with her. I am begging you, unless you choose to do otherwise, unless you want to see your mother go to her grave untimely, unless you want to end up with a wrong choice of a woman and my heart will never be at peace. Don't say that. You're going to be alive to carry your grandchildren. Speak no more, please. In as much as what happened here today remains strange to me. I want to let you know that I'm with you on this. Look, Mama, I have come to love this woman. I love her with everything in me. And I've made up my mind to make her my wife. I'm glad. I'm glad that you accepted her even without seeing her. It's a plus. It's everything we pray for, to have a spiritual mother that backs her children up with prayers. A mom that prays for the well-being of her children. A mom that prays for the growth of our children is, is everything, Mama. I also want to let you know that with everything you said here today, it has made me understand marriage from a different perspective. I have come to see marriage differently. And I promise you that I will keep to all you've said for a blissful home. Please. And I promise I'll make it up to you. I am going to bring that woman that I want to marry. You are going to give us that blessing you're going to advise us to get on how to have a blissful home. But I promise, Mama. Please. Don't feel bad. Just give me a small time. And we all will be happy again. Please.
Babe, calm down. I can't hear you. Slow. How? When? How? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. So, where are you now? Where are you? Okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. I'm driving to you. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. Serious. Same family. Their son died in your hands. I love him. Thatcher, 
I love Ugo. I love him with my life. Why has the event of the past decided to visit me at this very wrong time? I love Ugo so much. He is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. He's the love of my life. Love. <laughs> love, you see, my friend. You are still here talking about love. When you should be on your way to church for a Thanksgiving service for leaving that village alive. Have you forgotten? Six years ago, you were almost killed by that family for having a hand in the death of their son. That I don't think you have forgotten in a hurry. Come to think of it. Isn't that the same woman? The one you told me that's the woman of God. Yes. The one you told me that prayed for years for a choice of a life partner for her son, according to your man. The same woman you spoke to over the phone that confirmed you are the one for her son. That prayed and prayed and pressurized her son to bring you home for marriage. Same person she believed killed her son is turning now to be her other son's wife. I'm confused. Honestly, I am confused. Girlfriend, I am not confused. Something is wrong somewhere. Could this be a setup? never been this serious over an issue. She she thinks Brother Ugo is playing tricks on her or probably doubting her. Uh, is he? Why would he? Why would Brother Ugo of all people doubt your mother? <laughs> or is it news to him that your mother is that one person that Almost everybody in the entire village run up to for spiritual matters or interpretation of dreams. And it always turns out just like she has said. <laughs> Why would he? He shouldn't. She shouldn't. And his son never agrees. <laughs> yes, they don't. I mean, wait. I actually wonder when my brother is going to bring a woman home for a wife. I mean, ever since that woman gave birth to the little child and abandoned him and the little baby for a rich man, my brother has hated women passionately. But I think he should not generalize it. You know, the little boy needs a stepmom. Maybe a stepmother's love will put a stop to his strange behaviors. And the fact that he's even dumb is not as well known helping matters. Because the little boy most times he stays into space. And then a close look at him will tell that he has a lot to say or couldn't. Huh. Sounds strange, no? <laughs> of course it is. Anyways, it's fine. No, you? Yeah. Tell me you want to. <laughs> just now, you just. My mother came. will be waiting for me. It's fine. It's fine. I'll see you. Don't go. 
Bye. Bye bye. Bye, that's your mom. Sure. Thank you, eh? All right. It's okay. I believe that very soon, Brother Ugo will come back with her. And this time around, no tricks.
Sorry, is, um, have you seen your friend Mary? Have I seen my friend? Last I checked, you both traveled to the village to see your mom. Where is my friend? Where is Mary? Who go? Yeah, um... I really don't know what is going on. Please don't scare me. We drove down to the village. Okay. Right into my father's compound. Mm -hmm. Before I know it, Mary disappeared. Oh my God. Up till now, I've not heard from her. <laughs> Please tell me. Are, are you joking? What are you saying? What are, I don't understand what you're talking about. Come on, how can I be joking with such a thing? If you're trying to call her, her phone lines are off. This is not good. Something, right? I'm trying to report to the police. Hugo, this is strange. All my life, I have never met someone with a beautiful heart as that lady. She's the reason I'm still alive today. Back in the States, I was so unfortunate. A wanderer I was. I nearly gave up my life from one trouble to another. I was almost killed for a crime I did not commit. Not until she showed up. She fought for me with everything in her, like we've known each other for a very long time. Because at that time she She has some, some people in the authorities. She risked being tagged alongside a criminal because that was a crime I was accused of. Uh -huh. It worked like magic. I was vindicated, set free. When I asked her why she decided to go all out for a total stranger, in her words, help people whenever you can. Be nice to people whenever you're opportuned to, because no one knows tomorrow. So we became friends. Even though after some time we lost contact. And after some time again we, we reconnected. That was when I said to myself, I, I would never let this woman go again. stole my heart. We bonded. We became very close friends. And we started talking about marriage. So on faithful day, we agreed that I have to take her to see my mother. 
my mother wouldn't let me rest after she heard her voice on the phone. Now this is the part that is confusing. This is the part that I, I cannot understand. The moment we drove into our compound in the village, she disappeared into thin air. Like, I really don't understand. I can't place my head, like it looks like everything is, is a dream. I can't wrap my head around this. Is this a dream or something? Seriously, Ugo, at this juncture, I am dumbfounded. What were you saying then? The line was breaking. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. You saw her and she ran? Wait, wait, wait. Is that some kind of jokes or what? Hey, calm down, calm down, okay? Uh, so, where are you at the moment? Oh, all right, all right. I'm in the office. So what are you going to do now? He has seen you. And it is obvious to him you are not a ghost and that you did not disappear into thin air. I am sure you know what that means. Honestly, I don't know what to do. My past came calling. My past lifestyle is here to haunt me. What do I do? Oh, 
How do I make them believe that I'm innocent? How do I... How do I make them believe that I'm innocent of all the accusations? How do I turn back the hands of time? to rewrite my wrongs. How? Mama slumped while praying in church. It was with the help of a local here that I was able to bring her to the hospital. And since then, she has not opened her eyes, neither has she said a word. But the doctor said she'll be fine. Have you seen her? Your wife to be. Mama thinks a lot these days. The only thing she does is ask me when is your brother coming home with his wife to be so that I can bless them. I'm very sure. I'm sure it's contributed to the reason she slumped. Tell me, have you seen her? Father, have you decided to bring her home? Do you need my help? Should I come to the city with you? Should I? Where is the doctor? He is in his office. I need to see him. Of me 
is evil. They can change any time. If I give a reggae, what I want. You know her? She's the one. She is the evil girl that killed Brother Ikechu. She murdered him and disappeared into thin air. Mama and I only met her once. So we can't really tell what she looks like in person. But with the help of Eloka, we were able to get a picture of her, which we used to trace her, but couldn't find her. Ever since she murdered brother Ikechuku, she went into hiding and has refused to show her face. Mema and I have been praying, fasting day in, day out, for her to come away again. Only God knows. Only God knows what will become of her the very day we set our eyes on her again. Not even the Son of God we save that witch from our wrath. That girl is a blood sucker. Timon. What's her name? Mary. Yes. Mary is her name. Madam, we are close to AGC Philly Station. Should I take left or right? Madam, what's the matter? Are you okay? I wish brother understands. I wish brother Ugo understands that he is the reason 
Mama is lying critically ill on this mat. Tell me, what else could a mother ask for? When has it become a crime for a mother to seek her only surviving son's happiness? Mama doesn't want Brother Ugo to make the same mistake Brother Ikechuku made in the past. Bringing that evil woman, that witch that sniffed life out of him and disappeared into thin air. My mother is on clutches today because of that same woman. And my father gave up the ghost because he couldn't bear it anymore. All courtesy of that evil woman. That is the major reason Mama prayed ceaselessly on Brother Ugo's head these past years for God to give him his rightful wife. And then she heard her voice over the phone when he called to introduce her as the woman he wants to marry. And my mother prayed over it. And the Holy Spirit ministered to her that she is the right one for my brother. Now, bring her home for blessings has become a hard knot for brother Ugo to crack. Maybe, maybe he's just trying to take his time. Trying to take his time, you said? <laughs> trying to take his time when he was the one that called, saying he has found a wife. Trying to take his time when he knows that Mama's health is at risk here. trying to take his time when he knows that my mother will not rest not until she sees that woman whom the Holy Spirit ministered to her is her son's wife I don't know I don't know what my brother is waiting for. So many things wrote out me. Find the seed and let it. I live because I felt a brand necessary. I had like to rock. That was a corker. 
a girl for select sweep of being go with you yes at least this I was a part of I saw a folk found it for some breaking east for beat I had bad pressure to that help matters. I had the one. No way. It was in that piece of the stats. I had been to red. It needs brother. He had booked me for a night. Was a bad night. It was a night with him, but it seemed like a million years. And the day where I found a friend and they caught it out. The way they spoke. He sounded so something so serious and that wishes. So he had nothing at that time. We found it on both I was with him both and both all the time, but I cooked his beans, did old house chairs. The love was much how everyone in the devil would yours. I would love to keep the friend but tell him that some point is that it was that calling beliefs. Standing walking. Is it because I did have any CDs? But like I wasn't making enough money. But I was spending everything because of that by that. I can't even believe so sad I was stupid for But I didn't buy it. Everything I did, I did for love. I didn't plan to live with Colin. That wasn't completely. We were come together. But then, I think it was in public. You want to go to the world part of us. How sure do you what I did for anything? I do not know. She'll afford to be in. She said, I was eating a, a street run. She told me to stay with from you. Stay away from this kitchen. In fact, she said that she stay with from every day that I was so spare. She had the trip where was a poison. Judge of it. <sighs> she didn't tell us 
Oops. The shalik versus that. They give me the breathing of my life. The bullying body that I trap up in. So lately I was at Tafferts, but I couldn't focus. If it didn't have to get a habit bigger, where to get away my fall with some blood, and when the empty fingers they could do so, I lost it. Everyone's come back. And the dead. I kept my to do the art more. After two weeks, I was making brown that I killed. I poisoned my boyfriend that friend. It was a lucky day, I'm sure. Because that, I didn't know how it got. It that I was to tell. Your mother had outraged twice. Oyster that I've seen their faces before. They were there. And then, they had to me. They almost killed me. It's not with it. I showed up the police. I slept at the police cell for several days. How I have got out of that police cell is still in the streets of me to repeat. After that, I read the words. Favorite to another state. Then I met him in The friend that I have it with me. This are a truck full of fragments. Probably to chop. I swear with everything in me, I had made me sad. I did not kill your brother. And do not poison your brother with me. I am innocent to go and not kill him. And how could I have killed? How could I have killed? Saw what that was so dear to my heart was. How could I have killed someone that I loved so much? How could I have killed someone I spent all I had all on? How could I? It left me a quiet little sense. I didn't know what killed him. But after his fears, to be thin to be what they want. Make me a minute to say this. Keep. I guess. I guess it's just. Fate to date with me for. For the way I saved. My innocent habits of little. It's cool to do to every closer to my grave. But I'm ready to face it. And just watch it over the happiness. That it's the deep. That it will kill your breath. I'm
that girl. She was known in the neighborhood as a girl who sleeps around with different men, different sizes of men, different colors of men in exchange for money. She already had her plans strategized. Reason she ran away immediately, she poisoned Brother Ikechuku. That girl is from the Marine Kingdom. She's from the pit of hell. She knew exactly what she was doing. In fact, I don't know if they had something in common, like negative way in their past lives. Because when she came for retaliation, she meant to destroy Brother Ike's life. And she succeeded. She came to destroy Brother Ike's life and she succeeded. Protocol. Do you know that when Ike Chuku was alive, he never sent a dime to me and Mama. Not even to Papa. Now it has become very clear that that witch of a girl was behind everything. She was after his money. She killed him and ran away with his money. We did not see anything that belongs to him. She ran away with everything. Eh? Wagodum. No, tell me. What was Brother Ike thinking? How could he bring in a prostitute, a well-known prostitute, into his home? She goes to his house to cook for him, wash for him. She even sleeps over. As soon as I and one. Eh? No, tell me what was he thinking? A girl who sleeps around with different men will definitely possess different evil spirits from different men. Yes. Mori. Mwakuna. Spirit of murder will definitely be in her. Of course, she could wake up one day, change her mind, and decide to do whatever she wants to do anytime. She did it. She came, she saw, and she conquered. Yes. She killed Brother Ikechuku. She left this indelible pain in our family. That each day that passes by, it becomes a fresh wound. She killed my brother. That witch. That's Mama's voice. Mama!
As soon as I heard your mother was hospitalized, why? What, what happened again? She slumped again. The doctor said her BP rose above normal again. Thank God for your brother Eloka who helped me bring her here. Nune, your brother is the most kind-hearted man I've ever seen. May God bless him for us. Mm -hmm. And what about brother Ugo? I thought he came around today. Yes, he came, but left in a hurry. Brother Ogo is behaving strange these days, and I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, don't worry. She'll be fine. Oh? How did I get here? How do I face this? Maybe I should just sleep. By the time I wake, I will realize that I was only dreaming. Falling deeply to that person that is considered as the number one enemy of my family. The same woman that saw me through thick and thin back in the States. The one with the most beautiful heart. The one with the most beautiful soul. The same woman my mother wants me to get married to. It's the same woman she has been haunting all her life. The same woman she has been dying to meet in the village is the same woman she never wishes to see alive. How? How, how does that play out? How? Hugo, seriously, uh, this is complicating. Now, I must ask you, with respect to your questions, the investigations you've done, deep down, you, 
Do you think the lady in question is capable of doing what she has been accused of? Right about now, I don't know what to think. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. I learned your mother is back from the hospital. Oh, yes, she is. She came back two days ago. Mm -hmm. I was going to come see her when I come back from now. I'm going to know. But how is she now? Oh, she's fine. Although not yet strong. But we thank God for life. She will be fine. How is your brother? Have you put heard from him yet? I tried to reach him. I've called and called, but he doesn't pick my calls. I sent a lot of messages. He never replied any. I don't know what has gotten into my brother. I don't know why he decided to act this way at this critical time that he knows his presence matters a lot to Mama. I honestly don't know why. It's okay. Oh, your mother will be fine. Okay. I believe God. She will. I know He will do miracles. Thank you, Ma. Tell her I'll come and see her later in the day. Oh. I will. Thank Bye. you. Thank, Thank you, you oh. Ma. All right. Bye. Bye. Only need the guidance 
this all day. Tears will not change anything. The earlier you realize this is not working out, the better for you. Yes, girl. You have to face reality. No woman would allow you marry her son 
when she believes you have a hand in the death of one of her sons. No woman will. So whatever you shared with him, whatever you had with him, whatever emotions you shared with him, you have to let it go. Need I remind you that he knows you're here now. Pray he doesn't join forces with his family and come after you for the death of his twin brother. I guess you haven't taken that into consideration, have you? You see, it is a good thing to always seek the face of God, Mr. Ugo. Am I right? You see, in times like this, it matters most because he is the only one that can grant us the ultimate answers that we seek. You see, what I see is heavy. A heavy war ahead. Having said that, I want you to understand something. God Almighty allows certain things to happen in our lives in order to teach us a lesson. Or to pass a message across. Now, in some cases, it works in our favor. Now, we as humans, in some other cases, think it doesn't work in our favor, but it is all to the glory of God. Now, the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, from verse 4, it says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in pulling down strongholds. Now, brother, I would like you to embark on a one-month prayer and fasting. Now you see, during this period, do not communicate with her or any member of her family, your family inclusive. Now at the end, I want you to come back so that we can close together. Then, follow your heart, okay? See, I want you to understand something, Brother Ugo. The road to the altar is not an easy one. It is more spiritual than physical. You must pray. Pray without ceasing. See, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, it says, Call upon me in times of need, and I will answer you. And I will show you things that you know nothing about. You see, you have to pray, because it is not over until it is over. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name for your Son.
Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. We'll be fine, okay? Hi. We'll be fine. Hey. Chukwelo ka. Mama. The son I never had. Of course I am going to be fine very soon. be fine okay tell me when are you getting married so that you will give your little son or below a mother mama very soon very soon i'm only taking my time i will give you good news very soon of course it is a wise thing to take your time however as soon as you see her, do not hesitate to grab her before another man does. Oh? I beg you. I beg you. Do not get hooked up with the likes of your late friend, Ikechu, oh my son. The one who has opened her legs to all the men in this city. Do not make such mistake, oh? So that your mother will be proud of you and your late father will be proud in his grave. Come on. Mama, thank you for your kind words. Mm. I appreciate it. Mama, you know marriage is not something you wake up and just jump into. Like I said before, I am taking my time. But I promise I will give you good news very soon. Very soon. My son, I will always put you in my prayers to find your soulmate. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. You will find her. Definitely, I will. Definitely. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mama, I'm happy you're smiling now. <laughs> I am managing, my dear. <laughs> All right, Mama. Give, give her the food now. Sometimes the answers we seek could be found in the least angle. Very true, sir. Yes, and uh, what do you think is the fate of a man who is deeply in love with his mother's worst enemy? Hmm. Wow. Anyway, uh, Steph, let me break it down. You see, a very close friend of mine unknowingly has fallen in love with uh, a woman that his mother believed killed his twin brother and uh, was sent to wipe out their entire family. And this lady in question is on the run as we speak. So, now the twist here is uh, the mother, being a powerful woman of God, took it upon herself to pray, making sure that her only surviving son will not suffer the same fate her late brother suffered for making a wrong choice. So, upon hearing the voice 
of the lady. You know, she prayed over her voice and the Holy Spirit revealed to her that the lady is the right choice for her son. So unknowingly to her, this lady turns out to be the same lady she believed killed her son. Wow. This is serious. So my friend believes that there's no evidence that the lady in question is responsible for the death of his brother. To him, the lady has the most beautiful heart and uh, his mother has been waiting for him to bring the lady home. And uh, BP rising and uh, you know, she's, she feels that my friend is playing tricks on her. Now the question is, uh, what is the positive aspect of this? If my friend brings, takes the lady home to meet his mother, and uh, what is the negative effect of it? Now tell me, uh, Steph, what would be the fate of these two love birds if they proceed and get married against all odds? What is your take on this? This is a very big one. A delicate one, I must say, sir. First, facing reality. More than 90% of an average mother out there will never ever consent to that union. That the lady in question is innocent of the accusations. In fact, this is going to be war. Just like awakening an assumed dead lion. Well, this is my humble advice. If this man in question is the type that prays to God, this is the best time to run to him in prayers. Less more casualties be recorded. Different people they say with their different opinions. If I were to be the girl in question, I will pray to God. The prayer point, I must not be married to this said man, but let God vindicate me. You know, Sometimes, God allows us to meet some people in life, not to achieve our aim, but to achieve his own aim. They should pray for vindication. Otherwise, it is going to be war. Woman of God or no woman of God, this is war. Thanks for your Heart of man is evil, they can change anytime when this is 
is moving well for you. It's full of jealousy. Pretend but to the world. I have. I have come to place a stand on this. The death of my twin brother. As difficult and hard as it is for me. All fingers pointing at you. Deep inside of me. I want you to know this. I believe you have no hand in the death of my twin brother. I'm saying this from the innermost sanctuary of my heart. Running will not solve anything. It will only make matters worse. Follow me. Follow me to the village. I want to introduce you to my mother as the woman I want to marry. The woman after my heart. That way, you're going to convince me that you have no hand in the death of my twin brother. And in turn, I promise to stand by you forever. You don't have to run. Let's go. And now, no Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of the fool. Mama! 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 I just got off the phone with Brother Ugo. He is coming home with her. He is coming home with his wife to be. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Ugoch, who is coming home with my daughter-in-law? Yes, Mama, yes. Yes. Are you sure? Mama, why would I lie to you? I am telling you the truth. But I go is bringing your wife to you. Hey! Mama, oh! Hey! <laughs> Hi! Chimo! Chimo, Chimo! <laughs> Help me, help me to stand up. Yalomaka, Yalomaka, come here. Yalomaka. Hey! Oh, can I mean? Hey! 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 Chukwe! Hey! Chukwe, kid you! Oh, you many way. You look when you. You want me. You look when you. You want me. What we only need in this life 
this guidance of Holy Spirit. We only need the guidance of Holy Spirit for us to see clear, for us to stand faith. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Who got you cool? Thank you. Ha! Mary or Desley Bo. Mm-hmm. Mary or Desley Bo. It's in a Macama. Imalu Maca Mary. It's in a de Casa. It is a Saka Mary. It's in a Maki there. Imalu Maca Mary. Oh, Mary, you're desolate, but Jess, oh, desolate, but Oh, Mary, you're desolate, but Jess, oh, desolate, but My dear, you are welcome. Oh, come inside, we have a house. Hey! Hey! Who got to go? Yes! Who got to go? You don't know how happy and fulfilled I am. You don't. You do not at all. I felt it. I felt it the time you drove into this village with my son. And immediately you drove into this compound, I said to myself, Yes! Here she is. She's the one. My son's wife. <laughs> no. No, only. <laughs> hey. Yes. I have not set my eyes on you before. However, I want you to understand that I've already accepted you as my son's wife the first day I spoke with you on the phone. <laughs> you know, 
There are so many stories about mother-in-laws being the prayer point of would-be daughter-in-laws. That sometimes the would-be daughter-in-laws will be praying that the man they will marry will not have a mother. But here, reverse is the case. Because your union has already been ordained in heaven by the almighty God and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Not me. Not anyone else. <laughs> hey, welcome. Oh, Malicha Mado. Hey. Hmm. Huh? Ever since I lost Ikechuku six years ago, Ugochuku's twin brother, in the hands of one evil girl that came to rip where she did not sow. And my dear husband, who gave up the ghost the moment he heard about his son's death? Ah, when you mean we were all not do. We were all not do. Sad story I wouldn't want to talk about all the time. Nem. I prayed. And prayed to God day in, day out to send forth my son's wife to wipe away my tears. And the Lord revealed to me that you are the one that day I spoke to you on the phone. That very first day. Let me not bother you with my stories. Oh, I made a sala soup. You know what is in sala soup? White soup with taho. I'm also boiling hot water for Gary. Semo, only Oga. Which one do you want? Keki Sechia. Everything is available in one tom. Because I knew you were coming. I've already made your, 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 your room. I made sure there's no mosquito. I cleaned every room. I gave the instruction. Joya. So you are sleeping over. <laughs> and I. <clears throat> And, 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 and anyone is okay, man. Yeah. Any, anyone is okay. Anyone. You don't seem relaxed. Why? Drop your back, eh? Are you shy? Your, your, your father's in-laws house supposed to be your house. Ah, man, she's a very shy person. Eh, because they are sleeping over now. The room is ready. Everywhere is cleaned. But I shut up. But you must know why you are not need you for Papula. Don't mind us. <laughs> My dear, remove your eyeglass. Oh, let me see your beautiful face. <laughs> Uh, haven't you seen my picture, Bob? Hmm? I was up and doing until this incident. What did you feel? Is she shy? Hey, 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 Just as I saw it, just as God revealed you. Hmm? <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing. <laughs> Have we met? 
Where? Look at me. Where? Bros, bros. Hey! Bros, bros, you go to go to go. Hello, I was, I was told yesterday you'll be coming back today with your wife. As I was passing, I sighted your car. I said, let me come inside and say hello to you and your wife to be. Mary! 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 Yes? Yes, now! I shall come on top of that. You have been looking for now, Mama. What? Yes, now! Mary, the prostitute! My sheep!
A young lady, tall, dark. No, 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 no. She's very not. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. No, sorry, sorry. I'm not going 
chukwa. Wenda kwa kwa mwangulu kwa chukwa. La 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 la. Ni wanda mulida. Mir. Nye bu kwa mir.
Sure. You must find her. Must get dead her. or alive. I said dead or alive. She must die. She killed our brother. I said, oh, come on, come on. Killed our brother. We must get her. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. You must get her. Come on, come on. Block everywhere. Block every spot. You must get her. Come on, come on, come on. Dead or alive. I said dead or alive. Dead or alive. She killed our brother. We must get her. Block everywhere. Block everywhere. Yes. Block everywhere. Block everywhere. You want to cut her? There you are,
I saw you, you little brat. Ubelen's name may be king. Why did you do that? Why did you help the stranger to escape? Someone you do not know. A murderer we've been looking for over the years. Hmm? This time around, eh? We are not getting away with it. I will strangle you to death. Bad son of a good father. I will strangle. <laughs> doesn't seem right here. Isn't this the same woman that the Holy Spirit ministered to your mother to be Brother Ugo's wife? The same lady that killed Brother Ike suddenly turns out to be the right woman for Brother Ugo, his wife to be. How logical is that? I don't understand. At first, I was as confused as you are. But then, I remembered the story of the marine girls that go about destroying homes. That girl is from the marine kingdom. She succeeded in killing my brother Ikechuku, then went back, reinforced, and came back in another form to finish up his twin brother. But over my dead body will I allow that to happen. It will not happen. You see that girl, I will so deal with her. She has to pass through me before she gets brother Ugochuku. I will tell her that I am a woman as she is. 
But wait. What about the ministration of the Holy Spirit? None, who is talking about the Holy Spirit here? No, she must not escape. You must allow her to escape. You don't want to You must want to For the use, so they should block all the boundaries. So she must not go. Mama, please speech. calm down. Hey, you cannot do anything again. Yes, you might. I just came here to pick up the rest of my things. Let me go. Just forget about me. Forget that our path ever crossed. Just let, let me go, it please. Is let hard. me go. It is hard to let you go, please. Whatever it is, please be patient. We will resolve it. I assure you, please. please. Resolve what exactly? Not when my life is in danger. No. Your There's life, nothing to Your be... life is not in danger. Just be patient. I. See what I'm saying. you before I come to your house. A bit of them. No, it's not what I mean, but uh, I wasn't expecting. Please, bring that evil girl out. I know she's in there. Bring her out. It's me. It's all force. Mama, don't, don't start with this, please. I should not start you, with You can't come to my house and be ordering me to bring, bring my please. wife to me. Hello, Attack! 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 Come, Attack! Come, 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 Attack! Come, 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 come,
The choice I made is killing me slowly by the day. Staring up my loved ones. What do I do? What do I do? Please, go. Please, you go. It's all right. Please have your seat. No. It's a no no for me. A big no. You know what? Get up, I'm going to the police station to make a report. Get up! Make a report, you said? Yes. Who is... Who is making the report? Against who? I mean... Someone that escaped from the police custody six years ago is going back to the police station to make a report. I mean, to report those that actually took her to the police station. I mean, does that even make sense to you? What are you even talking about? Young lady, you have no idea that your life is in danger at this moment. Do you know what would have become of you if I did not appear at that scene the moment I did? Those guys would have killed you before you said Jack. We don't even know who they are. But I am sure they are those jobless stouts that collect money to attack and kill people they have paid them to. Or probably some touts from their village. Listen girl, listen to me. That family is in pain. And will stop at nothing till they avenge the death of their brother. You saw what they displayed out there. Those people are eager to take laws into their hands. They are not ready for the police. So I suggest you stand up and let's go make a report and damn the consequences or face the shame of dying in the hands of those barbarians. Even if I should make a police report. I mean, not against my in-laws. How do you expect me to report my mother-in-law in a family that I'm yet to stand strong, that I'm yet to stand on my two legs? I can't possibly do that. How do you expect her to see me? Uh, 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 how do you want her to react? I, I can't do that. I, I cannot do that. No, I cannot. Fine. You know what? I'm done. 
You're such a diehard. I've had it up to here. You can do whatever you like. It's your life. I don't care. I'm done and I'm out. Please. Please. Don't, don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me now that I need you more. You're the only friend I have. But I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm going crazy. I don't know what is wrong with me. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry. I was just upset. Girl, I thought I was going to lose you today. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with me. Trust me. and turn around to say that she escaped. No. No one is going to the police station. Mamaka, we are going to stay here and wait for good, good, good. Huh? By tomorrow morning, we are going to come this city. In a the whole of this city is such of that evil. or I die in her place for stealing the joy in my household. Give it to me, Mother. Give it to me. 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 Give it to me.
past life. Even in my past seven lives, I don't know this girl from anywhere. So tell me why she has decided to steal the joy in my home. Give me Camellia. Ha! I want to catch this girl so that I will kill this girl with my bear. I will crush her skull for my son's sake. I will break her into pieces for my husband's sake. And for my condition. Ah! Oh! This girl, this girl destroyed me. And now, she has returned to finish my only child. Please, I am going to handle this my way. Ah, Baro, please. Ah. <laughs> ah. My son is back to his right senses. I said it. I know you will come back. Thank God that evil girl is nowhere near this house again. But wherever she is, we must hunt her down. You see, this is the handwork of the Almighty God. Bringing your, your brother's killer to our doorstep so she could reap what she had she sold. She is not a killer. She is not a killer, Mama. She killed your twin brother, Ike. Put me in this condition and killed your father. Which what did she kill them with? Gun? Cutlass? Bomb? What, Mama? What did she do the killing with? your twin brother he came. Yes, she did. And you caught her red-handed. Right? You know, I've been wondering. I've been asking myself this question repeatedly. Is this not the same woman Mama called me? Sat me down told me the importance of fighting for my life partner. Told me the importance of having a life partner. Mama told me that the girl she spoke to is my wife to be. She told me that the Holy Spirit ministered to her that she is meant to be my wife. She told me that she, she, she is dying to meet her, to touch and sing for her. Called her Mary. She called her Mary Nages. Then all of a sudden, the same Mary Nages turned out to be a killer. I refuse to accept that, Mama. The Holy Spirit cannot be lying. No, the Holy Spirit cannot be lying. You told me she was meant for me. You told me that this is my woman. The voice you heard is my woman. And now, now, she suddenly became the killer. Right? Hi. What has this street girl said, my son? Wait. Who can be born now? Fed me with nothing, Mama. The only thing she did wrong was to love me endlessly. The only thing she did wrong was to support me. Where I am today is 
from that same woman. That woman is the reason I have everything you're seeing here today. That woman is the reason I have everything I have today. Did you ask me how I survived in the States? It's that same woman. That same woman did everything for me. Gave me all the connections that I have today. And I'm sure it's the same good heart that, that, that E.K. Chiku saw in her. Because she gave him everything. Attention, money, everything, name it. And today, you are telling me to my face that she's evil. And then she killed him afterwards. Ugochu, over my dead body will I sit and watch you marry that prostitute. Over my dead body, you will not marry that Was, prostitute. Was, Mama. Was. She was once a prostitute, not anymore. Hmm? Don't you get it? But then what are you saying? Eh? I can't do I had I can't do Once a prostitute will forever be a prostitute. No. I refuse to accept that. Once a prostitute could be the most amazing and sweetest woman ever. No, let my sister swear with her womb. Swear with your womb that you have never slept with a man that is obviously not your husband. And afterwards, got money for appreciation. No, swear. Then I will comb the streets in search of Mary and if I get her, I'll be the first to crucify her. People are so fast to judge. People are so fast to call people names as if they are saints. It was my twin brother that died. I have more connections with him. Every now and then I could, I could hear his voice from the grave. I could hear him saying that that girl is innocent. If only we could look beyond this. If only we could look beyond the tag of a street girl. Who knows, we can unravel the mystery beyond my brother's death. No. How we care. She's a prostitute, she's a killer, she's this, she's that. Mama. Please. If only we could look beyond the tag of a prostitute. Who knows? Just who knows, maybe we could unravel the mystery behind my brother's death. Mama. Mama, you thought about so many things. You thought of forgiveness. You told me severally. You told me on the phone that Mary is all I've got now. You told you told me that she she's meant for me. How could you sit here and say so many things about her? How? Oh. <laughs> because I don't know what this girl has fed you with. I can't feel my son talking again. I cannot. Ah! <laughs>
Yes, Mama. Did your brother tell you when he will be coming back? Have you called him today? Yes, well, Mama. I called, but he did not pick up. You know, eh, Mignon, the way this whole thing got twisted up still baffles me. Eliza is a very strong woman of God, whom everybody knows. She's not the kind of woman who says the Holy Spirit ministered to her when the Holy Spirit did not. We all believed her when she said the woman she heard her voice on the phone when she called her son Uguchuku is the right woman for her son, Ugo. That's having prayed over it. So what then is happening now, Mama? Why fight against the same lady? Or is it that the revelation she had is not of the Holy Spirit? The brother Ugochuku bring in another woman. How possible is it that a lady mothers a man and the Holy Spirit in turn says that the same woman is the right lady for the dead man's twin brother? How possible is that? My dear, in all honesty, something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. Uh -uh. Obilo, you're not eating your food. Why are you crying? I don't know why he's crying. Ah. It's now. It's now. It's now. Mama, I don't know what is wrong with him. you're missing your daddy not to worry okay that you soon come back you know daddy went to the city to fight for the cause of his late best friend daddy and his late best friend they were very very close so he has gone to the city to fight for the interest of his late best friend and i trust my boy right here when you grow up you're going to be just like your father won't you you're crying Billy, don't cry. Why are you crying? Sorry, okay. Daddy will soon come back, alright? I promise you. He will soon be back. Don't cry, don't cry. Alright, come, let's go inside. Mama is looking for us. Listen to you. 
How long do I keep running? What can I possibly do to make things right? I wish... I wish I can just... wake up one day to realize that all my worries were just mere nightmares. How do I, how do I get her to like me? How do I get her to know that I'm a good person, that I'm innocent? Do I make her know that I'm innocent of the accusations? It. Maybe I should go make inquiries about her. Yes. I, 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 I should go make inquiries about her to know her likes and dislikes. You know, what she likes and what she doesn't like. I mean, Ugo's mother. Yes, I should go make inquiries about her. I, 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 I can even cook for her, yes. I, I'll cook for her. I, I'll do her house chores. I, I'll run errands for her. I, I'll do practically everything she wants me to do so that she will see that I'm a good person. She will see that I'm innocent. She will like me. Yes, yes, it's a perfect plan, it's a good idea, yes, it's good, yes, she will see that I'm a good person, that I'm innocent, that, that I'm a good girl and she will like me, yes, she'll just wake up one day and start liking me, my friend, what do you think? I think you have lost your mind. And you're headed towards the path of doom and destruction. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have said that. And you know I don't mean that for you. But there's something I need to tell you. You see this thing called love? It's a two-edged sword. It can give you life and it can kill you. So my darling, make your choice. It's okay. Listen, 
no matter what happens, I will never, ever leave your side. It's okay. <laughs> Remember what the doctor said. What you need now is rest. Please. Too much of thinking is not good for you now. And you know your health condition. So please, not now. Pico. She is better today. Thank God. Don't worry, eh? We'll be very fine, okay? I've come to tell you that I'll be going to the city tomorrow and next. I want to go and put one or two things together. I'll be back in a short while. Mama, please take good care of Mama. Make sure she take her drugs. It's very important, please. Okay? God whom I serve will always guide your path. 
my enemy. Even your enemies will patronize you in your business. Thank you, Mama. Amen. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for paying my bills. Thank you. Thank you for seeing me as your mother. You shall never lack. Never. Amen. Anything you touch will turn to gold. Amen. Amen, Mama. In this city you are going, you shall go and come back. Amen. I'll be putting you in my prayers. Thank you, Mama. You're blessed. You're blessed. Mm -hmm. You're blessed. I'm going to Ume's shop to bring something for Mama. Eh. <laughs> eh. -heh. What are all these news I heard all over the village about your brother getting married to that same woman, the Mary of a girl? Was he a court wedding? <laughs> what are you talking about, Naya? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. I came across some pictures on the internet not long ago about your brother, Hugo, and Mary on a wedding attire. Take a look at something. Let me show you. Is this not brother Hugo? Is that not Mary? No, look at it. Why are you looking at it like that? 
You want to tell me you've not seen that before? Hey! What happened? You've not seen it before.
My dear, I understand how you feel. I really do understand how you feel. I know it's every mother's wish to see her children live a harm-free life and watch them sleep and wake up every day, expecting to hear good news from them and not the other way around. I know that feeling when it seems like your child has entered into a lion's den getting married to the same person who sniffed life out of his twin brother. Which I know could be hacking more underground plants. My dear, who knows? God could be telling us something. Hmm? At this point, we just need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Ayoma. Let prayers be our only gateway for now. That's if only we could be patient enough. Oh, Pico, patience, please. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to do his thing. Please. The guidance of Holy Spirit For us to see the Lord For us to stand Nobody can control tomorrow. We need to pray, pray, and hand it over to God. We only need the guidance of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit.
face of my child Mama ya rabao Aku wasia dio nebiko Mama forgive I no go Wadi ya buwa nebo Mama mo Listen to your song What is in your mind? Never Don't do what is wrong My mama Be good wrong My good mother hear my voice Be good
sleep in. This feeling that all is not well. I mean, I'm having, I'm having a bad feeling. Bad feeling. Oh, no. Promise me that you will always be here for me. Promise me that you will stand by me forever. Yeah, baby, I, I have always stood by you. I'm always here for you. You know that. What happened to our... What happened to our prayer life? We don't pray like we used to. Remember what the pastor told you? He said you should pray without season. I'm having, I'm having a bad feeling about myself. I feel like something bad is going to happen to me. Honey, I, I know what I'm saying. I, I mean, I know what I'm feeling. I know how I'm feeling. I, I, I feel like something bad. I mean, someone is going to take me away from you. Right under your nose. And you couldn't do anything. My love. I think the reason you're having all this thought is because you have been thinking a lot lately. If you can do us the good to lessen the way you think, it's going to be much more better. Stop thinking too much. Nothing is going to happen to you. And there is nothing that will ever make me in this life to stop being close to you. I will always be here against all odds. Wherever you stand, I will stand. Wherever you go, I will go. Whenever you die, I will die by you, okay? Let's stop thinking too much. Nothing will happen. Come here.
your sons Gay and Tinali Don't do what is in your mind to turn myself in. I killed her. Yes. I sent some assassins to assassinate her. And I made sure that my instruction was carried out in the later. That woman who prefers to live and watch her children die is not worthy to be called a mother. I did what I did for love. Whatever I did, I did for the love I have for you, good I cannot be alive and watch one woman wipe all my children out from the surface of this earth. Of course I know the consequences of my actions. It's an eye for an eye. The punishment for mother. The exact reason I have come to turn myself in. I will be happy facing the young man. My soul will be at peace in the world beyond. Knowing perfectly that my son is out of danger or facing any untimely death. Yes. His maker chooses to call him. I choose to die so that my son lives. It is called mother's love. Take me! Hand me over to the authorities so I face the consequences of my actions. I am ready for that. I am ready. Yes. I killed her so that I can have peace when I die. What are you waiting for, Gojo? What are you waiting for? Bye. 
of my head. Mama, I was Your judgment, I have way to go to. Hand me over to the police. Hand me over to the authorities so I face the consequences of my action. What are you waiting for? Take me! Don't do what is in your mind. What are you talking about? Who is Ikechuku? Our own Ikechuku, Mama. My brother, his murderer has been arrested and is currently in the police custody in the city. My son's murderer has been arrested and currently in the police custody. Did she die and wake up again from the dead? Who fed you with this? I killed her. She's dead and I am responsible for that. That I admit. That I admit. Lady of the Spirit, guide us. Lady of the Spirit, guide us. Guide us. Cause nobody can control his future. Nobody can control tomorrow. We need to pray. Of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. That was what happened. Don't oh, go inside and make her collect one sharp sharp. What nonsense are you talking about? Have you forgotten that I am your brother's woman? Ikechuku is not my brother. 
Ikeju can never be my brother. Someone that always brings bad luck to me. Eh? Is that the person you call my brother? I will take him to interview. They will end up choosing him and dropping him. You call him my brother. The last interview I took, not once, not twice, not thrice, I take him to interview. They will choose him and drop him. Everybody now sees it as if more smarter than me. No, stop calling him my brother. Let's go inside now. So I call it one. Sharp, sharp. Goodness. How, how, how wicked can you be? Are you the one saying this? My God. You're jealous and envious of someone that accommodates you, feeds you, clothes. How save evil me. can you be? Can you save me all this pressure now? We can use it for someone else. Everybody knows you. You are Shawu Kobo Kobo. Let's just go inside. This is That what was I before. That was before I am a changed person. This is what you do for a living now, Shawu Kobo Kobo. Eh? Okay, what are you doing with the uh, chief? I saw you with chief yesterday now. I think I didn't see you. I saw you. Well, if you must know, I went to chief to collect the money that he was owing me, okay? And need I remind you that all the money I make, I invest on your brother, E.K. Because he's, he's smart and ambitious and I want him to stand on his feet, okay? Can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to what you're saying? All the money you're making, you are giving to a buffoon, a lazy man. But hmm? E.K. is not a buffoon and he is not lazy. Stop calling him names. Let me, I won't take it from you. Just have it at the back of your mind. He can never, I will never marry you. He's just using you. Even the child you have, just know that you had it out of wedlock. Have it at the back of your mind. He will never marry you. Let's just go inside. You are very stupid. You are nobody's woman. You are child. Come, come. Let's go inside. Let me have this thing. They will make me stoop so low. But you are crazy. You are nobody's woman. You are child. Come, come. You are nobody's woman. Everybody knows you. Hi, babe. So this is what you do behind me, Eloka. Eloka, what wrong did I do to you? Can you marry me? It's so funny that the ones we can die for, the ones we can take bullets for, are the ones behind the trigger. Hey, look at what have I not done for you. I, I clothe you. I house you. I feed you. From the little I earn, we eat together. God, I am so sorry. Oh, don't shut up. From the little assistance, that beautiful woman, that loving woman that can do anything to make me happy, brings to the table. We all gather to eat together. And all you could do is go behind me to harass her when you know she is my woman. And walk of devil. And walk of devil. God. Look at why you so wicked. Look at what have I not done for someone I call a brother. A friend who turned brother. What? You've done everything for me. You, you know I have done everything. I'm sorry. Please. I find it in your heart to forgive me. This is so hard, sin, I swear. If there is nothing like sin, there won't be anything like sin. Oh, shut up, you fool. Well, for your information, I have heard of all your illicit activities. I heard you have joined the bad gang, 
that goes around this town kidnapping children and selling to clients. Oh, you're shocked. Hey, look, I can condone every other thing you do to me. That you are still planning to do to me in this house. Mani Horonka, you see this one? That I will not take. Hey, look, I go into the house, pack your things and leave my house right now. Listen, I will not want to repeat myself again. And I will advise you as a brother to desist from every dirty business you do. Else, your evil will catch up with you. Now get out. Get out! Cause nobody can control his future. Nobody can control tomorrow. We need to pray, pray, and hand it over to God. We only need the guidance of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. He ate the food. That was it. He died. It was never my intention to kill him. 
But I had no option than to kill him because I was scared that he will spill the secret in the open. But the last word he said to me kept tormenting me about my sins finding me out. So I decided to go very close to the family so that eventually, if it happens in the future, nobody will believe it. Yes. I never knew engaging in kidnapping business will bring my legs out. I own all apologies to Mary. She was such a beautiful soul. May her soul rest in peace. I also kidnapped her son. Yes. She had a son with Ikechuku. Nobody knows about it. I tried selling off the child. But they kept rejecting him. I don't know the reason. I tried to do so many evil things to the boy but all to no avail. I wash him cool. The boy is so strange. Very stubborn for my liking. Yes. Obilo is late. Ikechuku's son. But I lied that he is my son. That was what happened. Love can give life. Love. 
I want to tell you to go how sorry I am. Ma ma Madam, you will see yourself, okay? But not at the moment. Oh. Excuse me. I want to tell him how sorry I am. Hey! Okay, you can you come Here you are, my love. How I missed you. How I thought I've lost you. I thought I would never see you again. I thought I would never be with you again. I've been here, alone. I do nothing but make loneliness my companion. He who make promises and fail is not worthy to be. It's a promise I made to stand by you forever. And I'm here to fulfill it, my love. Together as one. We stand by each other. You are the choice I made. I love you forever. Where are you going? Ugochuku, where are you going? Ugochuku! Ugochuku! No! No!
breaks my heart that we will change this moment. is not my son. I couldn't That is not to go to. My Ugochu cannot die. My son cannot die. The God whom I serve would not allow my son to die. No. That body they are buried is not my son. I know that Ugochu travels. I know that he will call me whenever he gets to where he is going. Oh, 
This is what Mama does day in, day out. She sits all by herself, talking to Brother Gold's pictures. She doesn't eat nor drink water. She doesn't talk to anyone else. Most times, she hardly believes that Brother Ugo is dead. That she keeps asking me, when is your brother coming back? And when she snaps out of it, she blames herself for being responsible of his death. And that's the truth. We are all responsible for Ugo's death. We are guilty. I wish I can rewrite the wrongs. I honestly. It's okay. It's okay. Okay? Everything will be fine. God, my friend. God, what my friend has turned into. Try. If I, if you are here. Hey, if you are here. I, I, I will use your wife's uh, picture. Oh, we are back already. I was talking about you coming back. Hey. Hey, I, I, I was even saying that I will force Mama. Mama got to use her phone to call you. Can you give me the phone? Since you don't want to come back and you're standing there, don't you want to eat? Are you not hungry? And Nam, who got Nam? Who got? Who Are you hungry? And Nam, who got? 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 Hit me! Ah! Uh -uh. My son is going up to get and you're holding me! He's hungry! He must 
you hungry, mommy? Don't you get that hungry, Dad? Come on, 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 come on,
are you seated there? Obi Kwanudo? You don't want to come inside? And where is my wife? Where is Mary Nages? I don't know. One for you and the one for me. <laughs> I plan to hang this in my room. You know, I've got a surprise for you. And I know you would love it. It's the best, my best amongst them all. I actually asked your younger sister, Wamaka. To steal a photo of you both the last time you visited while you were busy running around. Because I had a plan to take them to Okeze, the studio man, to put them in a frame. And see now, <laughs> Nana, I made two. Hey, Mamaka. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> I've already blessed the frames with tears. Tears of joy from my heart of hearts. Asanamwa. My soul did not accept her. However, little did I know that she is going to turn out the best. The best amongst them all. Oh, Nemo. Such a beautiful soul. A girl like her is hard to come by in this part of our world. I am going to hang this frame in my room to always remind me of that homely girl, my child. My only son married and I want you to hang this too in your own room. Hmm? To always be a source of fire. The only source of inspiration to keep you going. A mother's precious gift to her only surviving son. <laughs> and having said this again, I ask, where is your wife? Huh? Where is Mary Nejesu? Ugo Mam, you've not been saying anything of the Kwanudo. Are you alright? I've come to say final goodbye till we meet again. You have come to say final goodbye till we meet again. Is my son trying to recite a poem? You are weak.
Ah, uh, you calm down, na. Uh, now only you. It's almost by now. I beg, take water, Gary. Oh, yeah, Be coming down. Uh, this thing, I mean, you won't watch him. Oh, now. Telling me to calm down, calm down. Can I look at this one? You that burnt the food the other day because of this same program, you're telling me to. Oh, I'm gonna relax. Ah, who told you? <laughs> you said I wouldn't know. I know. My brother almost killed me, Daddy. Oh, on this place. Oh, I'm gonna pour water. Relax. Ah. Why is he looking like this? And why is he in the television? It was the end of the road yesterday from Mr. Chuku Eloka Bernard, aka LOB, a notorious criminal who has over the years indulged in kidnapping, child trafficking, and organ harvesting while moving in the guise of a tricycle rider. Mr. Chuku Eloka, who hails from Aguku community in Anocha local government area of the southeastern part of the country was apprehended yesterday by men of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad in Uzoani community, another local government area of the southeastern part of the country, while indulging in child trafficking. Mr. Chuku Eloka has also confessed to killing of his late friend Ikechuku John, whose son Obilo was one of his victims in child trafficking by at the time he was caught. A very long one. You thought I was so scared. I was scared. Everybody was scared, in fact. You've been just there since yesterday we got back from the hospital. At a point, we thought of waking you up and probably taking you to the hospital. But then we remembered it's not the first time it's happening. And the last time. It happened. It was a sad experience. And you warned that in case it happens in future that nobody should wake you up. Nobody should interrupt the process. According to you, it was time for deep revelations for you. The reason we left you, for the close eye on you, since your paw still reads. So what is it about this time around? Your son, I guess. You know the last time you visited his house in the city with your daughter? He said he abandoned the house for you both and left. Simply because you refused him marrying the girl that killed his twin brother. Since then, nobody has heard from him again. Nobody knows if he returned or not. It's about him, right? Yeah.
see us there for prison. Pardon. Officer. Do you know this man? Yes. He's my brother. I have you this. Yes. Officer, search the house. Brother? No, brother, that is not true. My brother, a kidnapper, child trafficking, that you're responsible for the death of brother Ike Chuku, and kidnapping his son, no below. So, brother, you're planning to sell off for below, who is not your real son, brother, tell me it's not true. <laughs> But I tell you, this does not put you the image of our family, but I tell you, it's not true. I am sorry. Everything you heard is the truth. Yes. I am sorry. I am sorry. No! Move No, brother, no! No! Find a place in your heart of hearts to forgive me. Please. Pico. Pico. Forgive me. Pico. Pico. For 
six years I have been praying to God to kill you for me. For a crime you never committed while I was busy. Dying and sleeping with my enemy. I'm sorry. Mom, become sorry. Hi. Hello, girl. I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. The way I treated you. For misjudging you. For every bad thing I did to you. I apologize. By you. Again and again, they refuse me custody of my boy. What exactly is the color of their problem? What is wrong with them? I mean, what evidence could be stronger than maternity DNA? No, Tasha, ask me. What could be stronger than maternity DNA? What is wrong with them? What is their problem? Must they stress the hell out of me all in the name of child care or child welfare or whatever they call themselves? What kind of stupid country is this? What is this? I've had it up to here. What's, yeah. what, what's going on? Jeez. Yeah. Why can't they grant me the custody of my little boy? Well, they are only doing their job. Now, let's calm down. Okay, fine. I will come down after I've gone in there to create a huge scene. No. Watch me. I'm not doing that. I promise you. Look, I will not. Have...
mano. Be a